So today on the bench, we're just going to do a quick video about this little frequency signal source or pulsar or PWM square wave generator. It's called All Those Things on AliExpress. It took a while for me to find this board online because I didn't purchase this board. It belongs to a family member who wanted to see how it would work. And when they bought this thing, I believe it not only came with different color leads and showed it on the, in the picture when you order it, but it also come with no instructions. So I'll put a little bit of uh, my screenshot up here so we can see it on a video of what AliExpress says about this. And the reason I believe it came from AliExpress is the MC-11 version 4 board. It's the only place I could find it, period. I, I even looked on eBay and other places and I didn't have any luck at the time of this video. So this is going to be a 5 to 12 volt in. Anywhere from a 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz, depending on this jumper setting here. You can see that. And it has 11 adjustable, call it motor governor. That must be actual pulse width. Because this is going to be your frequency adjust here. But anyway, this was um, kind of a request of a family member to see if we could figure out how this thing works. And it doesn't even come with a connector, but this is a... 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter and it does fit i'm not saying that's exactly what it is but it, it does fit so you can use these kind of like little terminals or of course you can buy one similar to this so if we just bring over 12 i actually have 12.3 volts dc input because it tells us if we look at it that our line input voltage 0.3 so our pulse output is going to be less than our input voltage 0.3 so i got 12.3 in we should be able to get almost exactly 12 out on 100 percent duty cycle so so it looks like we got what they call in zero to nine like a 10 to 90 percent 10 they said output high so anywhere from 5 to 12 volts in and 5 to 12 volts peak to peak at 50 milliamp out on the pulse so we just bring over my flute and this is going to be a little bit confusing because we have a uh, ground as your two middle pins, minus out and plus out. So I'm guessing positive transition to negative transition depending on the um, PWM. We'll figure that out. But the first odd thing about it is it's showing, even though on the, um, the picture what you're going to get shows two black leads in the middle, which makes more sense. This one has a black for plus and a red for minus. So we're showing about 5.9 so we see our pulse width changing um, if we go to AC and go to Hertz we should see some frequency and we're seeing right at 1 kilohertz we can adjust this down and we can adjust it back up so what's in the center position we can change it either of the three ranges we want which is a 1 Hertz to 100 Hertz 100 Hertz to to 10 kilohertz and one kilohertz up to 100 kilohertz put this back close to a kilohertz i'm going to actually get this out of the way and i'm going to set up my oscilloscope ah, my phosphor oscilloscope display is wigging out on me guess i have to grab the new arrigo Wouldn't have thought that would have worked, but it was getting worse the more I moved it. Anybody else got a Tektronics phosphorus display? You got to do that too. Okay, now, <laughs> I had a little trope in my oscilloscope there, but I don't know if I caught it out on camera or not, but bring all this back around, get the board, we can see it here. We don't really need the meter any longer. Take a better look inside the signal here. Let's see what it's really doing.
So here we go. If you can, hopefully you can see this screen. Okay, this Tektronix, it still has a nice display, even though it's an older phosphor digital oscilloscope. It's, it's a better display than my newer Rigo. It's, it's old enough to have a smaller screen on that Rigo. So I'm gonna bring the waveform intensity up so you can see the, hopefully on camera, you can see it's a little bit, a little bit sharper. So one thing we see with the oscilloscope is we see our peak to peak keeping that 12.0 volts. As we know, the meter was showing an averaging. We can also do a RMS as well. If, if you would like to see the RMS change as we drop this down with the duty cycle. So one kilohertz, if we see, as we change this, we change in the frequency, not the duty cycle, right? So we're right at two kilohertz, just that easy. And that's actually off. And the next switch, we have what should be a 10%. I'm assuming 20, it don't actually say. We can actually zoom in a little better and get a better look at it though, if you'd like to. Yeah, I think that shows up on camera okay. Let's go back to where I was at. Let's go back to zero. 10, 20, 30. Move the position on horizontal here. So 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I have to change the scale just a little bit. 90. Now you go 100% or just steady on. Now RMS is showing 11.5 and our peak to peak is just millivolts for ripple. That's just steady. But yeah, I mean, this board does work good. The only other thing I'm going to do is I want to go above 50, say 60, 70. Yeah, we go 70%. So I'm going to change this around from the positive to the negative. And we should see instead of staying higher for the longer duration of the pulse width, it should be low longer. So if this works the way I think it does, I hadn't even tried this. So <laughs> white will be your ground and yellow will be your positive. And there you go, it's just switching it around. So our peak to peak is going to stay the same. Our frequency is going to stay the same. It's just switching from low to high on our pulse width modulation output as far as which one we're seeing here on the, um, the negative transition or the positive. So 6.2 volts versus... Right at 9.6 volts. That's on the averaging, of course. I believe he said he wanted this to, I believe he said 2.4 kilohertz. He can adjust it to whatever he needs, but we're going to do it here while we got the oscilloscope. And we're in the 2.4 kilohertz range. And then we change this jumper. At about 24, 24 kilohertz. We can go to the others. I gotta get more than one on a page here. Yeah, we'll go to about 20, about 20 milliseconds per division on the um, horizontal. And we're at 25 hertz. So it looks like just doing a quick check here, not a long video, just a simple setup and check on this board. I thought I would just share this on video in case someone else wanted to learn more about this little board as well, since I don't have much information with it. But even though this not necessarily a review, the board's, I think, less than three bucks. Shipping's almost as much as the board. I think it's the shipping to the U.S. is $1.85 and... We're like $2.87 on sale right now. 
So yeah, not a review or promotion of any kind, but just uh, just simply a look into the, the little pulse generator board and how well it works. And I really enjoyed fooling with it today. Um, now one of the things I'm gonna do here before I hand this back is I'm gonna switch this, this red and black wire around because it just don't make sense that this one's it's backwards compared to what the, the plus and minus is on the board. I don't know if most of them come this way or this, was this a mistake? These just have the little tab you gotta push down and slide it out of the keeper. If I pushed it down too much, I might have to press it back up, but they actually snapped in just fine. So now output plus and ground is right on your positive side, which will probably be the one you use the most anyway, right? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful or at least interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. As always, I'll have some links in the video description of some interesting tools and items on my bench that I find helpful. Any of those links that you find interesting that you click on actually help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I'm also going to be on Odyssey, so now Thrifty Tool Shed is on Odyssey, so check us out there as well. That's a pretty cool uh, newer platform that I'm just trying to get out there and trying to get a, a different audience, so any support on there will be appreciated as well. So thanks for watching, and God bless.